All right, Shalom. Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Um, this will be an update on the mark of the beast. Um, I have a article here from uh, ABC News. Right, we all know ABC News is a um, uh, respected uh, um, mainstream media source, um, and as you can see here from the headline, uh, they're pushing the uh, uh, microchip implant. All right, this is an article that's dated uh, from uh, last Christmas. So, uh, December 25th, 2019, which was the year of Karagma. We're currently in uh, Jer uh, uh, January uh, 2020, the year of prophecy, once again. And um, these uh, prophecies, including the prophecy of the, uh, of the mark of the beast, which is the uh, microchip implant, is, is going to be fulfilled uh, soon. Okay. Uh, and Lord willing, it's fulfilled um, mandatorily this year. Okay, Lord willing. So now it says, real life Tony Stark has four computer chips implanted in his hands and does cool stuff with them. Right? And this is how they want to seduce the people and get the people, um, you know, the masses of the people, um, Excited about taking this implant, you know, by saying, you know, it does cool things. All right. Uh, so I'm going to jump into it. It says uh, he's sort of like the Avengers Tony Stark in real life. Ben Workman, a 29 year old software engineer, is a tinkerer and has fused technology with his own body. Uh, Workman has RFID and NFC computer chips implanted in his hands. Okay, it says he also has a Tesla key implanted into his right hand, right? And I did a video, and brothers from the positive on down, we all did videos on, uh, it was this woman that she also implanted uh, uh, her Tesla key into her her uh, hand so she can access her car. And now you have, have, have this guy, he's done the same thing, okay? And this is what they want to have as the uh, wave of the future, as far as technology is a concern, microchip implants, all right? So it says he also has a Tesla key implanted into his right hand to control access to his Tesla vehicle and a, and a magnet in his left hand, which he says he mostly uses for Marvel villain Magneto-like entertainment purposes, such as pulling paper clips and metal chains towards his hand's magnetic field, right? And this is how they get you... You know, especially with these ABC News and these different mainstream news sources, they'll use something, uh, uh, um, you know, relatable to catch the attention of, you know, the reader and the audience. You know, uh, Marvel's big in uh, movies right now, so, you know, so they use that type of um, terminology to get you interested in what you're reading because they have an agenda, all right? And the agenda... Is to have the uh, microchip implant um, made mandatory around the world is not necessarily a way to keep you uh, uh, in touch with you know the world around you, which it will. But the main purpose is to put you in slavery, have all your information, your records, and who who you are, and what you think about, and what you like, and you know, it's a tool of control ultimately. OK, but they want to seduce you with these um, articles, you know, with this, you know, terminology to get you uh, um, intrigued about what they're saying. OK, so now it says with the RFID and NFC chips, his hands replace some functionality of a smartphone. Uh, it says, for example, with the touch of his hand, he could copy someone's contact info from their phone onto his inserted chip and then add it to his contact database. He can also configure Wi-Fi. It says, if I have a router and I have its configuration, I can send that configuration to the chip. Uh, 
I can configure a Wi-Fi network automatically, Workman told ABC News. So you can access the Internet, the Wi-Fi and things from the microchip. See, Esau, he wants to push this, this, uh, uh, um, this chip um, through convenience. Okay? So let's get the scriptures. All right? Let's go to... Um, All right, Revelation 13, and we know this uh, by heart, but I, I'm still going to read it. I'm, st I'm still going to read it, okay? So this is uh, Revelation 13, and um, Revelation 13 and 16. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to read... Uh, I'm going to read 14 on down. It says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Let me see what this word uh, means uh, is uh, in the Greek. All right, by the means. All right, which actually this might just go into miracles. Uh, cause, but let's see, let's see. Okay. Um, so strongest info. Sign, miracle, wonder, token. All right, uh, of miracles and wonders. All right, put of signs pretending remarkable events soon to happen. Um, let's see here. I really want to get that word uh, uh, means. All right, because we all know the miracles goes into the um, you know the power and the wonders of the Lord, right? But the means, as far as like the um, you know the purpose. You know, um, so, um, you know, the people are going to be deceived as to what purpose these technological marvels or these technological miracles, such as the uh, Mark of the Beast or RFID chip uh, means. Yeah, it's going to be pushed through convenience and fun and entertainment. But like I said, it's really to control you. OK, so I'm going to continue on reading. It says. Um, and it says, uh, and this is Revelation 13 and 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, uh, which the beast is uh, NATO, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And that image is his system. And right now, they're creating a system that is going to... Uh, 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 have everyone tied to uh, the power structure that uh, NATO and Esau is in control over. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and that's because he has the uh, authority in the earth right now. Esau, Edom is in their rulership, so they have the power to give life and make this thing come to uh, pass. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's what's going to happen. If, if you're not uh, uh, um, going to comply with the new system that Esau has set up, then as martial law is declared and the old system collapses and they try to implement this so-called new world order, a lot of people are going to be put to death and put in concentration camps or re-education camps. All right. Uh, ultimately, ultimately, they're going to be killed, and that's within the power of uh, Esau to do for a short time. Verse 16, it says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, and free and bond, so this is going to be a mandatory thing, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that mark is um, going to be the microchip implant. And that no man might buy or sell, save he or accept he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you have to be a part of the system that they're setting up in order to buy and sell and interact with the world around you as they're getting the infrastructure and the things um, uh, put together. You know, 5G and, and all of that. Okay. Uh, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6. And that's how this system is going to be set up. Through the 666 barcode or UPC code system 
which everything is um, uh, tied to. The logistics system is all tied to a certain uh, number of vibration that Esau is in control over through the power of Satan. Okay? So when it comes down to the, um, the RFID microchip or the NFC microchip, it's all a part of getting the people deceived first in order to get them to um, take it. And then they're going to make it mandatory. Okay? Um, let's see. All right? And ultimately, you know what? That's really the uh, point here. Um they want to, you know, push this chip um, through, um, you know, making it a, a a cool, a cool idea. Okay, so I, I'm gonna read this last couple of paragraphs and then I'm gonna close out. Uh, so it says uh, he also said there are people who are enthusi- enthusiastic about tech implants and have undergone the procedures. Uh, people have been doing this about 23, 23 years, he said. And that's true. Going back to, I believe, 1998, um, he had this one Edomite, you know, get the implant, test it out, RFID chip, and he was able to unlock doors and go into different offices. And he, I believe he even um, um, gave it a... Um, a virus. Matter of fact, his name was uh, Kevin Warwick. If you just look up Kevin Warwick, it um he uh, the article goes into him getting the microchip implant back in the nineties, and here we are, uh, two thousand twenty now in January, and this technology is getting even more advanced. Okay, it says people have been doing this about twenty three years. He said tech implants have taken off in Sweden and Europe. And this is going to come over here to the Americas as the new wave, you know, or thing to do. It says in America, there is a hesitancy here to push weird boundaries, said Workman. He doesn't think the procedure will become widely embraced unless it becomes a more compact and painless procedure like ear piercing. And a lot of these tattoo artists and ear piercing artists, they are, uh, they're authorized and they're able to, you know, to actually give certain people um, these implants, all right? They call them uh, grinders, and they have a heavy community out there in uh, Dallas, Texas, uh, Austin, Texas. You know, they have these different conventions. And, and uh, I'll say this too, even in um, Australia, you know, they do the same thing, all right? Let's see if the comments say anything interesting. All right. Uh, This guy must have seen Upgrade. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. If you've ever never seen it, see the Futurama episode, Attack of the Killer app. They get iPhones installed in their eyes. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, I just want to see. All right, so they ain't say anything about it being the mark of the beast. A lot of times, these people that say something about it, oh well, that's the mark of the beast. Which it is the mark of the beast, you know. But that's um, that's um, you know, it's going to be seen soon, you know. But but that's it on that. I just wanted to bring that out, uh, you know. These prophecies are popping off like popcorn, you know, as the apostle say. I know the apostle Ricard says that a lot. Um, apostle Art says that a lot, you know. And things are going to get um, a lot more um, um, heavier in the 2020, you know. But with that, I'm going to end it there. All praises, glory, and honors go into Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to, to the apostles and the elders of uh, Great Millstone. Shout out to the hopeful elect. Oh, oh, it was edifying. Shout out